Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the honors to the apostles and elders of Yasharalah, and salutations to you, I can that are out there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. And uh, this is, you know, GMS Chicago, and we're going to do what we usually do on, you know, Tuesday nights, Spread Like the Wind. This is uh, episode uh, 31. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, episode 31. And, you know, we're just going to go with the spirit. What did you have for you? Um, 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. It says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, Commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shai's sake. For Yahweh, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of Yahweh in the face of Yahweh Shai. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh and not of us. God, I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Romans 3. I'm going to start at um, uh, 19. Now we know that what things soever the law saith was said to him while under the law. That every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before the most high. Because according to the law, man, you know, we, we all messed up because of the flesh, right? But we still got this, this, this glory, we still got this word being called to his light. Through the power and grace of Yahweh Bashar and Yahweh Shai, man. And the thing is, there's no room for pride. Alright? We we didn't we didn't make ourselves get this truth. This was a gift. Alright? Ephesians, what is Ephesians second chapter? Wisdom of Solomon uh uh, uh what is it, seven? That's also is the knowing, knowing that's also part of the wisdom is to know that, that she's the gift of the Heavenly Father. Alright? So we didn't do anything to deserve this, for one. We deserve death, <laughs> all right? And even the, the thing that makes us righteous, faith, is a gift. That every mouth may be stopped. So ain't no room for pride in this thing. All right? Um, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of the Most High without Law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of the Messiah, which is by faith of the Shai, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. And there we go, man. So we have, uh, like it says in uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 7, we have this treasure of the vessels that the excellency of the power may be of the Most High, not of us. So we can't boast, man, because we all have come short, man. But in fact, I'm going to skip down. Romans 3 and 27. I'm going to start. I'm going to keep going from what's that. Romans 3 and 24. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And, and this, is the, this is really the breakdown to Paul saying, we're going to pull it up. Uh, I, I dare not count myself as one of the uh, as the as the number. I was just there. Kind. I was looking for the warning where um he uh, he spoke about if thou received it, why do thou then boast? Kind. Right. Kind. All right. Um, but uh, I got what you want. The the number. Okay. You want that already? Um, let me finish this. Kind. Kind. Um, verse 24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Mashiach Yahushai, 
when the Messiah has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of the Most High. To declare, I said, this time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in the Shai. Where is boasting then, it is excluded. By what law of works nay, but by the law of faith. All right, and it said he might be just and the justifier, man. This is all according to the, the, the election and will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. As it was stated, all these things is, is a gift. You know, there is no boasting, so we can't, there's no way hell we can think we're worthy to be part of that number. All right? Can we all come short of that glory? Yeah, I got other uh, scriptures, Galatians 6 and 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he has nothing, he deceives himself. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so we, we don't have to think of ourselves more than what we are, man. All right? Spirits, spirits that was a Lord one chosen from, chosen by Yahweh Bashan Yahweh from the beginning, man. This, we, we have to understand this is all His will and doing. If we are elect, this is all His will and doing, man. Ain't no boasting. We can't commend ourselves if we did some shit. No, I, I did this. No, I'm doing all this. No, man. It's all through the power of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You couldn't teach this word without the spirit of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh. You would be fucking dumb. Mute. We compare it spiritual with spiritual. So it's nothing on our own we can do to make this happen. So I ain't no commending ourselves, man. Or oh, because we, oh, we doing, look what we doing. This makes us, no, man, it's through the spirit. Which that commends us, man. <laughs> yeah, especially if we endure and not elect. That's the, the, the commending, man. You got something real quick? Uh, this is Galatians 2 and uh, 16. It says, uh, mm -hmm. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, even we have believed in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shah and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But if while we seek to be justified by Yahweh Shah, we ourselves also are found sinners. Is therefore Yahweh Shah the minister of sin? The most high forbid. Because like in um also in um in Romans 3 and 31, it says, Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, we establish the law, which that's the uh, Greek word is stemi, which means we keep intact. We make stand. Alright, so you know, at, at, at this point, it's like, no, of course we, we can't boast. You know what I'm saying? Like the brother said, we all uh, uh, fall short, you know, but it's, you know, it's the promise. It's whoever was elected, you know what I'm saying? It's whoever was elected, but those elect are going to uh, show, show their faith by their works and, and vice versa. Yeah, that's what it is, man. God, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 7. For who maketh thee to differ from another? And why hast thou that thou didst not receive? Start up, start up, start oh, six. Okay. What does 5 say? Therefore, judge not to be for that time. You start at 1. Yeah. Start at 1. Alright, it's 1 Corinthians 4 and 1. Let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Hamashiach and stewards of the mystery of the Most High. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judge of you, or of man's judgment. Yet I judge not my own self. For I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified. Mm -hmm. For he that judgeth me is the Lord. Therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness, and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of the Most High. Come, and every man shall have praise of the Most High. Which which goes to, uh, uh, Paul said, I fight, I, 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 I run as if not if I already have obtained, you know? Mm -hmm. So, hey, even though he knew, Paul was talking about Yahweh himself. So he knew, he knew 
what was going on. He just didn't feel worthy. And that was the bottom line. He said, hey, look, I, 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 I deal with it when I get to that point. I want the, com the, the being recognized by the Heavenly Father, man, get the glory for when the Heavenly Father gives it. All right, to judge other than tune in, then the time to come, man. When the Lord put them crowns, when Yahweh Shai put them crowns on, on hopefully our heads, man. All right. But right now, we don't, right now, what, we, we go above the prophet that was boasting and, and saying that we are elected, especially when we serve the hope. Now we believe and we strive to be elect because it says that we don't fight, you know, we're not fighting the fucking air. We're not. You know, we're doing this thing to, to obtain, man. But man, Paul, Paul knew when he was the elect. He dared, but hey, but he didn't count himself worthy. He knew his sins. He knew his faults. He didn't go around boasting about it. Because what profit would that do? That wouldn't be the man that the elect would have anyway. Read that last verse you just read over, Bob Michelle. Uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 5, Therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of the Most High. Mm -hmm. that praise of the Most High, man. He's going to get the glory. And hell, even with, even with like people like Nathan, and man, look, the Lord's going to deal with him when the time comes to kill these niggas, man. On the... On the on the other side of the coin, man. That as well. We ain't going out here executing judgments and just proclaiming that. Hell, brothers still even say the times, hey, hey, uh, unless you repent. Unless you repent. Unless you repent. Even though if the scriptures make it clear there's no uh, re re uh, repentance for blasphemy the Holy Ghost, but through the Spirit, brothers still say, unless you repent. Because you have a shot saying what? He said, if you deny me, I'll deny you for the Father. But Peter still did. He's still part of elect. So, hey, brother said, lest to repent. Lest to repent. It's all we may manifest the end. Whether through the Spirit we know or not, hey, it's, it's no boasting in it, man. It's all going to be known in the end, man. And Lord willing, we're going to be the men that get that glory from the Heavenly Father. And when we and we don't count ourselves worthy, but we still call ourselves the hopeful elect. That's it. It's that simple. <clears throat> Because we, we walk in the, that walk that the scriptures talk about, that the elect will walk, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we have to endure to the end, you know what I'm saying? Keeping this, this same walk. And he said he's not a man that he should lie, you know? Um, quick one, real quick, one of my faves. Uh, this is uh, Colossians um, 1 and I'll start at 21. It says, and you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. I was just thinking about this scripture to tell you to get it. Oh, fuck. That's what I'm saying. If you continue, fuck, you come. Yep. So, uh, it, yep. verse 22, it says, in the body of his flesh through death, to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, where of <clears throat> I, Paul, am made a minister. All right, so if ye continue, all right, because it says uh, we could, you know, uh, 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 those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. You know, when you get in that crown and you hear, all right, well done, my good and faithful servant. Uh, uh, until then, you know, we are subjected to hope. All right, so where is boasting? All right. Can you jump over to 3 and 12? Cut. This is Colossians 3. In 12, it says, Put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind. That's the key. Because if you put on as the elect, mm -hmm. you're going to have that humble mindset to know that you're, you, you don't deserve whatever uh, glory or whatever goods or whatever 
uh, 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 blessings that you're going to receive. Right. Yep. You know? Yep. And it was like, it, man, all because the Most High actually, you know, <clears throat> chose you from the beginning. You know? So it says, uh, um, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. That, that word meekness, man, on the ground. No, it goes back to humbleness, contriteness, you know? Knowing that, hey, 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 knowing that you ain't worthy to, uh, 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 shit, I ain't worthy to be sitting here with these men. But hey, y'all, by Shami, y'all shot got me here, so guess what I'm going to do, man? I'm going to push forward, man. I'm going to fight, uh, I'm going to fight on, not as one that beateth the air. You know, which I'm holding that, but. Verse 13, it says, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Mm -hmm. If any man have a quarrel against any. Even as Yahweh Shah forgave you, so also do ye. Exactly, man. You feel the royal law. If you love thy neighbor as thyself, man. You treat your brother exactly how you want to be treated, man. You know? If you want to be treated with the utmost respect, if you want to be treated, hey, hey, don't allow me to go off, man. Hey, hey, hey watch, watch over my soul, man. You know? That's a, hey, we are brothers keeper, man. Keeping each other within uh, 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 the bounds of these scriptures. And like the scripture says, man, if anybody, if any man uh, uh, obey not this word or this epistle, man, note that man and have no company with him. You know? Well, it, yeah, verse 14, it says, and above all these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Which is the bond of perfectness, man. Charity is a love feast, man. It's labor of love that we're doing, man. That's this right. is the ultimate form of charity that we're doing. You know, showing that we love our brothers, showing that we love our nation, showing that we love Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. Yep, yep, that's love. Uh, even when you get to, you know, rebuking, yep. you know what I'm saying? You Chastising, exhorting, you know, tearing down false doctrine, building you up with the edification of the right doctrine. All right, that's, that's all charity right there. That's love, man, you know? And, you know, you also have to be humble in receiving that, you know, and we got to be humble. It's the same thing. It's, it's, it, it happens to us all. All right. And that's how we get perfected. Yep. Yep. Can you read down to uh, 17? Come on, verse 15. It says, and let the peace of the most high rule in your hearts. To the which also ye are called in one body. Mm -hmm. And be ye thankful. <laughs> Let the word of Yahweh Shai dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Yep. Teaching and admonishing one another See? in psalms and in hymns and in spiritual songs. Singing with grace in your hearts. To the Lord. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Him. Exactly, man. Because He reconciled uh, uh, us back to Him, man, through the blood of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and, and what do we do to deserve it? Hmm. Got you one mm -hmm. This is Isaiah 64 and um, 4. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither have the eye seen, O power, beside thee, what he had prepared for him that waited for him. Thou meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned, and those that continue, continuance. And we shall be saved. Hey, so we sinned and we was in the world and we still fuck up now, man. That's when I saw it says what? Serve the Lord with fear, man, and rejoice with trembling. Because Joel 2, real quick, Joel 2, 13 says, And rend your heart and not your garments and turn to your how your power, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repent to him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent? And leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and drink offering to you have your power. All right? So, who, hey, who knows what the Lord going to do, man? Really, he can do what the fuck he want to do. That's right. The Lord really can just change all the fucking rules we wanted to. 
Like, he can really do what the hell he chooses. Well, that's a scripture. I'll grab it real quick since you said it twice. This is uh, Psalms uh, chapter 115 and 3. It says, but our power is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. <laughs> right. And there you go, man. Who knows if he's going to return or repent, man? So we got to serve a fair term, man. We can't get puffed up. We can't begin to think of ourselves higher, more higher than what we are. All right, which are a hey, really sinners <laughs> that, that's, that's called and, and Lord willing and chosen to be part of his elect, man, to be adopted back as his sons. Back in Isaiah 64, and now verse 6. But we are all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Right. And we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. And there is none that called the pine man. Amen. At one point in time, he was in the world called the pine. Sweet Jesus too, man, or some other bullshit. Okay? And there is none that called upon thy name, that stirred up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. But now, O Yahweh, thou art our father, we are the clay, and thou art and thou art potter. And we all are the work of thy hand. And there you go, man, that's the point. We are all the work of the Heavenly Father's hand, man. This is all according to his good will and pleasure. All right, he's making us realize that by giving us uh, 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 this honor of earthen vessels. No, we don't deserve it, man. All right? We didn't, we didn't make ourselves judges and gods. The Lord did this, man. He could have made us anything he chose to, but he made us Israelites. And not only Israelites, so he made us the first fruits of Israel, man, mm -hmm. according to his will. So we got to keep that mindset, man. It said, put on the elect. And right after that, the first thing it says is, is humility. Understand that we ain't shit. That's what made that's what made Ezra the elect. You got that? Yes, sir. It's the second Ezra eight, and um, I'll get straight to the point. Verse forty eight. And this also thou art marvelous before the Most High. Start, start. What did he say? Though? What did Ezra say before that? Cause he said something to make him say that to him. You want eight what? I'm in eight and forty eight. You want the other one where he says uh, our faces shine? Uh -uh. He said, be not wroth with us, but spare thy people. Right, bro. Yeah, this is it. Start at 44. Come on. This is uh, 2nd Edges 8, verse 44. It says, even so... Start at 42. Because you got to keep in mind, he's been... Dip start at 42. I'll see, I'll see it there. It's locked in. Start at 42. This is... Uh, this is 2nd Ezra 8, verse 42. It says, I answered then and said, If I have found grace, let me speak. Like as the husbandman's seed perisheth, if it come not up, and receive not the rain in due season, or if there come too much rain and corrupt it, even so perisheth man also, which is formed with thy hands, and is called thy own image, because thou art like unto him, for whose sake thou hast made all things, and liken him unto the husbandman's seed. Be not wroth with us, but spare thy people, and have mercy upon thy own inheritance. For thou art a mer so like it, for thou art merciful unto thy creature. So, so Ezra started off saying he found grace, let me speak. And he begins to speak. So in the middle of talking to this angel multiple times that came and visited to him, Ezra's still thinking uh, he's not worthy. He's still seeking mercy. He's still seeking mercy. In the midst of, as, clearly... Communicating with the angel of the heavenly father on a personal level, man. He's still seeking mercy, man, because he didn't count himself worthy. He didn't, uh, 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 he dared not count himself at a number. It's that simple. Go ahead. Then answer he me and said, things present are for the present, and things to come for such as be to come. It says, for thou comest far short, that thou shouldest be able to love my creature more than I. Hmm. But I have oft times drawn nigh unto thee, and unto it, but never to the unrighteous. And this also thou art marvelous before the Most High, and that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. There you go. And that, that's the same breakdown what Paul was giving all right, he didn't. He wasn't. He he was humble, man. 
guys that was committing their sales, they sales, man, how well I do this and right. like, comparing their sales, you know, which goes back to that Corinthians. I don't, did, did we ever uh, read it? No. Bible Kusha, you, know you just jumped to the point. Right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 7. For who make it thee to differ from another? Let's start at 6. Okay. 1 Corinthians 4 and 6. And these things, brethren, I have, I have in a figure, so like it. And these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written. Hey, and, 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 and who gives the best example of that? The apostles, man. They constantly say, what, man? Hey, we just men, man. You know? We, we just men. <laughs> I remember when, um, I believe it was uh, Apostle Rakha, when I first met Apostle Rakha, he was like, you know, brothers, brothers got this mindset, like, you know, the apostles just med meditate in the corner in a Zen position, just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, no, man, we, hey, we just men, man. You know? Great men. Holy men who was moved by the Spirit, according to uh, 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 like Peter says. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. That no one of you be puffed up for one against another. Mm -hmm. For who make it thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Right, man. So what did you get on your own, man? Not a goddamn thing, man. You know, the brother read it. The, then you read where it says, if any man know uh, anything, he knows what he ought to know. He know of nothing but what he ought to know, man. Yahweh Bashami Shah opens our mind, man. He he gives us the secrets. It's nothing that we do on our own to understand these scriptures, man. I was reading these scriptures when I was in the world man, and didn't understand a word. You know? It's all through the Holy Spirit, man. Giving that gift of faith. See, you didn't even give yourself faith to believe in this, man. According to Ephesians, the second chapter. Uh, and what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now, if thou didst receive it, why dost thou glory as if thou hadst not received it? Right. Why do you glory as if you hadn't received it, man? Comparing yourself this brother, what I do, shit, if I do this, man, this brother ain't, man. All that madness, man. Or well, you just came up with something by yourself. Like you was just that, you know, deep and small. Aha, aha, I, I, I have found. No. You say, well, we all received this. And then the order of the things is like Paul said, I have planted Apollos of water. All right? Because if you don't plant or, or water, then you don't get the increase. All right? Just like if you don't plant a seed in the ground, then no, the flower not going to come up. He's just going to sprout up by it. It just, it just pops. It. Right. Now, the Lord could do whatever he wanted to do. Of course. But that ain't the prescribed order that he prescribed. That's right. right. Go ahead. Uh. No, that was the point. Uh, jump back to 2nd uh, Edges 8. And I'm going to read 49 again. It says, In that thou hast humbled thyself as it becometh thee, and hast not judged thyself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So, hey, that, that's, a, that's, that, that's a key trait to the elect, man. It's walking in meekness and humbleness of mind, as, they, as, as Colossians just said. A quick one. Mm -hmm. uh, Romans 11 and 20. It says, well, uh, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. Yep. All right? And, 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 and that's the, 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 the first way to get some wisdom. All right? You got to fear and tremble, man, because we don't know. You know, but we continue to go on because we're walking that walk, you know, and, and, and that, that, that fine line, that straight and narrow. All right? So, uh, you know, it's, it's a balance of, you know, being confident of being the hopeful elect, but then also like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just still fighting it, you know? Well, go ahead. Uh. Okay. Uh, uh, back in 2nd Andrews 8, verse 51, it says, But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. 
For unto you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, the time to come is prepared, plenteousness is made ready, a city is builded, and rest is allowed, yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. The root of evil is sealed up from you, weakness and the moth is hid from you, and corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. So he just told Ezra right here that he's the elect. He just told him, yeah. And the reason he, he said why he's marvelous because he didn't count himself as the elect. But guess what? Ezra still does later on, a few chapters later. He says, well, was, who's going to save me in these days? <laughs> and that's, that's what it is, man. That's the humility. That, that was him not being high-minded, but fearing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Serve the Lord, fear and trembling, man. Hey, hey, Re rejoice and tremble slightly. Go ahead. No, because I was going to say what did Paul say? He said, if any man thinketh he stand, take heed lest he fall. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You stand at man. I know I'm this and I know I'm in. And then next week, your ass bugged out, man. I'm still right. here. Exactly. Like, yep. As if the Lord didn't get this to you. Like you standing on your own accord. You standing all, all, all off your own power. You know? And that's why the Lord going to destroy Esau. Isaiah the 10th chapter. Yeah. Because yep. he said the axe boasted against the, the him that he was there with, man. Hey, we don't. Hey, everything that we got is a gift. And the fact that we exist. We didn't make ourselves exist. We didn't make ourselves do anything. So we have hope to be elected, man. We have hope. Uh, verse 54, sorrows are past, and in the end is showed the treasure of immortality. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. You know, it all goes back to not, hey, hey. You brothers had something before I jump to, this is uh, 2 Samuel 7, and... I'm going to start at 18 because um, the prophet uh, um, prophet Nathan just came to King David and told him that hey, he's going to establish Solomon, he's going to establish his son, he's going to establish his throne forever, you know what I'm saying, and uh, it gave him the whole breakdown, right? This is 2 Samuel 7 verse 18, then went King David in and sat before Yahweh, and, and mind you, King David is a man after Yahweh's heart, man, that's what he was called, right? It says, then went David in and sat before Yahweh Basham Yahushai, and he said, Who am I, O Lord Power? And what is my house that thou hast brought me hitherto? And this was yet a small thing in thy sight, O Lord Power. But thou hast spoken also of thy servant's house for a great while to come. And is this the manner of man, O Lord Power? And what can David say more unto thee? For thou, Lord Power, knowest thy servant. For thy words sake, and according to thy own heart, hast thou done all these great things, to make thy servant know them. Wherefore thou art great, O Yahweh Basham Yahushai, for there is none like thee, neither is there any power beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom Yahweh went to redeem for a people to himself, and to make him a name, and to do for you great things and terrible for thy land, before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt, from the nations, and from uh, and their gods. For thou hast confirmed to thyself thy people Israel to be a people unto thee forever, and thou, Yahweh, art become their power. And now, O Lord Power, the word that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant, concerning his house, establish it forever, and do as thou hast said. And let thy name be magnified forever, saying, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Lord of hosts, is the power over Israel, and let the house of thy servant David be established before thee. So King David said, Who am I and, 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 and what is, who am I to receive such this, man? But at the end of that he said, Hey, do as thou hast said. Hmm. God. You know? So that's the same thing we doing, man. Who 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 is us to receive such glory, man? Who is us to receive such mercy? But do as thou hast said. Please. Baba Kusha, keep me on that right path, man. What do I got to do? I got to continue to pray and ask for these things. Hey, well, I'm going to continue to do that, man. Hey, and King King Solomon, 
was, was given wisdom in a dream. The Lord put the spirit on. That's amazing, man. Everything is given from Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. Even the thought to pray and ask for wisdom is given from Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. He said the preparation of man's heart is from him. Every thought that we think towards him is from him, man. Right, program. And he says the spirit makes an intercession for what we got to pray for. <laughs> uh, I got one. Mm -hmm. This is Luke 5 and um, 8. Well, I'm just going to get to the point. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Yahweh Shai's knees saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. All right, so, hey, Peter... Peter didn't feel worthy either, man. And that's it's like, what chapter was that? Luke 5 and 8. Okay. You know, he didn't feel worthy either. That, that's just what it is, man. Think not, think not more highly of thyself, man. Knowing that this is all a gift. All of this. And it says uh, in Romans 11, the, about the branches boasting, that, then you can, you can be cast off too. That's right. So once pride come in, that's a wrap. Did we ever read that? Second Corinthians 10? Yeah. No, no, not yet. This is um Second Corinthians 10. Start, you can start uh seven. Thought you said seven? Yeah, I'm just gonna start up higher. Yeah, seven. Okay. Seven Uh, I'll start at 3. I'll start at 1. It says, now, uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 1. Now, I call myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Yahweh Shah. Didn't it say we have the mind of Yahweh Shah? Arm ourselves likewise like Yahweh Shah. So if he walked in meekness and gentleness, how much more us? Who in presence am base among you, but being absent am bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walk according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. So certain guys are chest puffed out. You come say that to my face. God. You know? Right. And you got to picture this too, man. Because Paul wrote heavy letters. But in presence, he was more... Reserved, so to say, that's you know, of course, he was the elders, so he said to speak and do his things, but he was more reserved and down to earth, man. He wasn't as bold, man. Like we meet the apostles, you watch on videos, they real, you know, but they come in humble as can be, yep, meek, man. The same thing, man, right? It's the same thing right here because you got certain niggas that think being in this truth is about a, a, a macho show, right? How tough you can be. Or how tough you sound, or how tough you look. Lord over and shit. It ain't about that, man. It's verse 3. It says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty, through Yahweh by Sham Shai, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh. And bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Do ye look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Yahweh Shai's, let him of himself think this again. That as he is Yahweh Shai's, even so are we Yahweh Shai's. So right there, Paul just said he's, he's Yahweh Shai's, man. He understands how he helps you tell him. So Paul understands that he's the elect, clearly. Paul understood that he was called. But still, what does that mean? Hey, who am I to have these things? But your word perform it. I'm not worried to be the elect, but perform what you show me. Come in, give me that commendation, give me that glory. But as of now, I'ma fight. I'ma run like I haven't obtained. Because my righteousness is a filthy rag. I'm not going to think highly of myself. I got you right here. 
It's 1 Corinthians 9 and 23. It says, And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is tempered in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an uh, uh, incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. And that's Paul having an understanding, like, like, like shit, like, hey, you know, if I'm not doing the things that I'm teaching, I can be casted away, man. And that's giving that diligence, you know? That's examining yourself daily, whether you be in the faith. That's doing the things that's needful. Doing this work. Back in um, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 8, it says, For though I should boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord hath given us for edification, and not for your destruction, I should not be ashamed. That I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. For his letters say they are weighty and powerful. But his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Let such a one think this. That such as we are in word by letters when we are absent. Such will we be also indeed when we are present. For we dare not make ourselves of the number. Or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. Right. And that, um, just to get it, for dare, the word for dare and, um, it's like for make and number is, uh, G1469, which is to reckon among, judge among, among, to judge one worthy of being admitted to a certain class. So that's, that's what he's saying. And we don't, we dare not. Uh, uh, judge ourselves worthy to be at that number. He don't count himself worthy, man. Although Yahweh Shah came to him personally, he still didn't feel worthy. So that kept him humble. Just as uh, uh, Satan put a thorn in his side, man. That kept him humble and, and made it so men to look at him above his measure. Alright? Because like the, like the Yaki said, man, hey, yeah, you know, the men of the Lord are just men. You know, they're, they're men. You know, holy men, granted, holy, great men, but they're men, man. So we can't look at ourselves more than what it is. Gifts from the Heavenly Father that we've received. All right, and Paul right here, he, he's even saying he's <laughs> boasting right now just uh, 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 for edification's sake. To say that he's gotten this authority from the Heavenly Father. To say that, uh, do you think that he, that you're Yahweh Shai, so is he. Got a quick one. Uh, it's Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. It says, Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except God gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was. I prayed unto the Lord and besought him, and with my whole heart I said, So, hey, you, you cannot uh, boast as if you came up with this all by yourself. It was anything, anything. All right? So it's, it's, it's about understanding that. And then that's part wisdom, too, of having that understanding. You know, so where is boasting? Where is pride? Go ahead. Uh. Um, this is a uh, Second Corinthians eleven and five. It says, "For I suppose I was not a whit behind the very chiefest apostles, right?" And that's Paul saying, saying what he's saying, like, look, uh, you know, the knowledge that he received, he was taught by Yahweh Shah directly. 2 Corinthians 12 and 11, I am become a fool in glory. You have compelled me, for I ought to have been commended of you. For in nothing 
am I behind the very chiefest apostles, though I be nothing. And that's the whole point, man. Though I do nothing. He didn't count himself worthy. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't commend himself. In fact, the only reason he's doing it now is for edification's sake. Right. Yep. A lot of times I find myself on the same thing, you know, but then got to understand, well, no, for order's sake, it's got to, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be like that. You be like... Uh, well, you know, hey, elder, you get this, you know, um, nah, nah, man, don't come, you know what I'm saying? But then it's like, well, for order's sake, you know what I'm saying? So it's that, that balance of, you know, knowing that, all right, I, I received this, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't nothing, you know, but, you know, but at the same time, I gotta, you know, stay in the truth and the truth has order in it, you know? And that's what it is. Paul writing these letters like you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this, you need to do that. It's like then he bold, but then he he on me like, oh, I'm trying to man, you know, brother. I'm glad to see you. You, you I, I'm glad you, you my, you my commendation in my heart, man. Okay. To see you grow and learn from this man. This is what I like to see, man. You know, but to them, they like they scoffed at him for it. Like right. what the fuck? Then Paul like I, he said it. I can be bold in person too if you need me to be. That's just not what it is, man. Right. That's the humility behind it. Not fucking just lording over just because. Making your putting yourself in that authority. Right. Not about that, man. And, it's about this word. Yeah, and wanting it for for some type of glory's sake. Kind. Wanting it so you know you being looked at a, a certain type of way. Wanting it for a corruptible crown. All right, now, now we all want to uh, 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 do things to please Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, and, and, and Lord willing, we be part of that number, you know, to uh, to make it and have salvation, you know. But it ain't something that is like, ah, nah, I want this just, you know, for somebody to look at me a certain type of way, you know, because all. Glory, honor, praise, and thanks goes to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And then in due time, if he see fit to, you know, give us any type of um, recognition, you know, then he'll do it when it's that time that he gives that to us. Other than that, hey, our righteousness is as filthy rags. I'm profitable servants. I'm only doing what, what is my duty to do. I'm doing the... The job description that was given to me, you know, that's it. You know? I got, uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. You know, and then it's really, we're, we're, so, we're, we're not, uh, this is our job. So yeah. really, you know, if, if the Lord... The Lord could be like, yeah, you, you, I'm not going to give you guys anything. You know, because it's really what we're supposed to do. Right. Yeah, if you fearing Yahweh, if you fearing the Most High, all right, which is, you know, the, the, one of the duties of men, all right, then there is no thing of uh, 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 pride and, and boasting yourself and wanting some type of recognition here in this feeble-ass flesh that we're in right now. There is no, it couldn't be that because at any point in time you could fall off, you know. That's why it says you are reconciled if ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled. All right. You got something, bro? Yes, sir. This is Saint Luke seventeen verse seven. But which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle? will say unto him by and by when he has come from the field, go and sit down to me. And will not rather say unto him, make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Doeth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded of him? Hmm. I troll not. <laughs> so likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded, you say we are unprofitable servants, we have done that which was our duty to do. 
But yet you got guys that want to be commended and and and, and, and uh, commended. Here it is. Who the fuck? It tells us that uh, uh well, we, you know, we should be a uh, uh, hoping to be those vessels that's that's meet for the master's use. You know, here it is. What uh, uh whatever we may be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, whatever house utensil a fork. You know what I'm saying? A spoon or. You know what I'm saying? A butter knife. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who thanks the goddamn butter knife for putting the goddamn butter on the bread? That's what's your duty to do. You like, like we're nothing but utensils. Right. You know? Yeah. So who wants? Uh, and you got guys that want credit for being a utensil. Right. You didn't do nothing. You in the hand of Yahweh Basham Yahweh man. He gets the credit, man. Right. Salakia. They get the credit, man. Yeah, because they, I mean, they 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 made the knife, they gave you the grooves, you know what I'm saying? They gave you the setup for everything that you are supposed to do, all right? And then you do it, and then you say, hey, thank you, you know what I'm saying? Yah, Bashan, Yah, Shah, all praises to you. Mm -hmm. You made me, you gave me the grooves, you gave me this, you gave me that, all right? So now, it, it, hey, hey. I pay it forward, you know. Mm -hmm. And when it's time for me to get some type of recognition or some praise or whatever, I'll get it from Yah Bashem Yah was shy. If I, you know, if he gives it to me. Other than that, hey, I'll just go ahead and do my job and give all praise to Yah Bashem Yah was shy. That's it. That's it. This is First Timothy. Uh, 1 and verse 12 it says and I thank Hamashiach Yahweh our Lord who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful putting me into the ministry who was before a blasphemer mm. and a persecutor and injury, and injurious but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly and unbelief and the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Hamashiach Yahweh this is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception that Hamashiach Yahushua came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Mm. How be it for this cause I obtained mercy that in me first Yahushua select it. How be it for this cause I obtained mercy that, that in me first Yahushua might show forth all long suffering. For a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. You know? So even Paul Paul said, hey, hey, you know, I, I, I wasn't a whip behind the chiefest apostles. But yet considered himself the chief sinner, man. Right. He got all the, uh, he, uh, he said, um, I have finished my course. From henceforth there is a crown laid up for me. But what he say, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, man. Right, so if he says the crown later for him, he, he called himself by the number. So clearly that breakdown to that 2 Corinthians 10 can't be Paul not saying he don't think he probably elect or hopefully elect. He just don't feel worthy, man. Right. And he dare not boast about it. Right. Hey, well, here it is. There is an elect. And also here it is. It says that everybody has sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Most High. Mm -hmm. So out of some of those that fallen short of the glory of the Most High, you're going to be part of the elect. So if you are, you know, walking that walk, then you could say, hey, you know, right now, you know, everything that the scriptures is saying, hey, I, I, I'm walking that walk. So I, I can be part of that hopeful elect. Like right now, you know, we, you know, uh, uh, the position we're in right now, we're preaching uh, the correct doctrine, which I have fully persuaded, hundred percent faith that this is the correct doctrine that we're preaching. That's it. That the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone teach. So as long as you stay the course, as long as you endure to the end, as long as we continue doing what we're doing right now, man, we those guys, man. Then you just might be those guys. But ain't worthy of it. At all. At all, man. Yeah. yeah, because your sins are ever before you and you know what you've done. And even some ignorances that you may have now. 
Kind. Mm -hmm. King David said that. King David prayed. He said, take out the Holy Spirit from me. But King David got the promise to rule forever, man. <laughs> but he still prayed, take out the Holy Spirit from me. Yeah. Because he know the bullshit that he's done. Mm -hmm. He said, my sins are ever before me. Yep. Yeah. You know? And that's why we got to continue to fight to endure to the end. Because, hey, no matter, I mean, Judas walked with you, have a shot, man. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? He didn't endure to the end. You know? Mm -hmm. I got one for you. Go ahead, huh? This is 2 Corinthians 3 and 5. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of the Most High. Mm. You know? Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, it's His Spirit that worked with man and us. He gave us the down payment. He put us on the path. He's bringing salvation to himself, to, to, to himself, man. All right, so there, there is no boasting. We can't commend ourselves, man. This approval comes from the Heavenly Father. Bottom line, he gave the Holy Spirit. So hey, 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 that's why it says him that uh, joy, joy that he know the Lord, man. That's the that's the boast. That's the joy. Y'all about Shai gave him the Holy Spirit. That makes it even wrong. It ain't, this ain't up ourselves. Hey, we didn't come and put these precepts together on our own and do this. The Lord, do the Spirit did it, man. And that's wrong. If you <laughs> ask me shit. Yeah. That's the Heavenly Father. Do the do Son of Yahweh Shai, man. That's working within us, man. So we ain't, our sufficiency ain't of ourselves, man. We don't, and hey, we put no confidence in the flesh. We ain't shit. But guess what? According to the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, man, Yahweh Shai, man, and we have a chance to written the book of life because we have the earnest, the down payment of the spirit, man. So, hey, we ought to hope for elect, man. And, and, and that's the characteristic of a man of the Lord. Because King, like, like you said, King David got, he, 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 he received that. He knew he received that. But yet, when you read through the Psalms, he constantly say, hey, forgive Salakia. Forgive me for secret sins. Forgive me for presumptuous sins. Allow the meditation of my mouth and, and, and uh, it's like a lot of meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight. <laughs> and that's King David that received the promise that his house shall, uh, his throne shall never be departed from it. I butchered how the promise went, but God, they will never let a child on his throne. Because that goes to the fact that uh, what the statement you just made, man. You know? We, uh, uh the, uh, what does the scripture say? Kind of Bible Bible. 2 Corinthians 3 and 5. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of the Most High. Right, it's of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Like I said, we put no confidence in his flesh, just like King David. King David didn't put confidence in his flesh. That's why he continued to pray to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai to continue to guide him on that right path, man. Psalms 137, what did he say? He said, hey, hey Lord, try my heart. And my reins, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting, man. That goes back to the character. Hey, hey, that's the characteristic of uh, of a man of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. How did Yahweh Shai carry himself, man? He knew he was the son of them. Uh, he knew that, man. But yet, he yet he still carried himself as what, man? He humbled himself, man. Try to crown him. Well, when they went to make him king, man, he dipped off on their ass, man. Because he knew hey, hey, it wasn't his time. You know? Likewise, the, uh, the, elect, the elect men, hey, hey they know what it, it, it ain't their time to get all praise and, and for somebody to bow down to them and all that, man. We got a quick one. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Sirach 1 and 30. It says, Exalt not thyself. Least thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. Hey, and that happened to many of guys, man. Yep. Many dudes who felt like they needed some type of praise. They needed some type of commendation. But forgot the loop where it says, hey, hey, you an unprofitable servant, man. You did what you were supposed to do, man. Hey, the Lord said he'll raise up rocks, nigga. 
Like, do you understand that? Like, like the water raises up rocks. He don't need none of us, man. And that's why, hey, hey, the King David, man, who, who, who am I to receive such glory, man? Who am I to receive such mercy? Who am I to receive such goodness? But do as thou hast said. All right. Yep. Uh, it says, exalt not thyself, lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. Because thou camest not in truth mm. to the fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit. All right? And that's certain men out there that want something now here in hell, here in our punishment, here in this feeble flesh. All right? Uh, and we in hell and you want something type of some type of glory or to think that you somebody uh, you better fear and, and, and continue to uh, hope and fight so you still have hope because those who uh, uh, basically get cast down in the midst of the congregation and, uh, you, you ain't got no hope Go ahead. Huh? This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 12. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. All right, since you read that up, uh, 1 Corinthians 8 and 2. If any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. <laughs> but if uh, any man love the Most High, the same is known of him. All right. And how's that, man? If any man love Yahweh Basham Yahushai, the same is known of him. How is that known of him, man? Because to whom as much is forgiven, a hey, hey, to whom uh, 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 forgiven much, he loveth much, man. And how do we love much? By showing his works, man. And that's not uh, 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 all the works, the whole totality of it. Not just out there teaching, not just doing these sit downs, but works toward the brotherhood as well, man. Walking in contriteness, in meekness, and humbleness of heart. Exalting, extolling, or preferring your brother before thyself, man. The scripture says, let every man esteem uh, uh, one another higher than himself. That's thinking lowly of yourself, man. That's the, uh, not, not, not even, a hey, like King David, man. Like Paul. Like, like, uh, like Ezra. Not considering yourself worthy of obtaining such mercy, man. But yet you got guys comparing themselves. Oh, you better than this guy. You better than that guy. That, well, that's not esteeming your uh, your brother higher than yourself, man. You esteeming yourself above him, man. Uh, Romans uh, twelve and three. It says, "For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself." More highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as the Most High have dealt to every man the measure of faith. All right? So it's the Most High that's doling out the measures, all right, uh, and, and doling out anything that you have and, uh, and have obtained, all right? And don't think of yourself more highly than you should. You should. All right? Don't think of yourself to uh, 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 basically be somebody. All right? Because you never know when the Most High will spew you out, use you real quick, and then spew you out because uh, of your, your own mind, your own heart. He, he know the intent. He know what you own. He know if you for uh, about a corruptible crown. You know all, and all is going to be made manifest. All right, so we got to be humble, man. Fighting this good fight of faith. Continuing in the, the things that you will learn. There you go. This is uh, Romans 7 and 24. 
O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? <laughs> that was Paul. You know, and like the brother was saying, those, those are the characteristics of, of the true man of the Lord. You know, knowing that, that they sin and knowing the punishment that they deserve. You know? Uh, uh, who was um, Moses? You know, uh, Moses could have been all like, oh yeah, the Lord paid me because I'm, you know, Pharaoh took me as a son. You know, but he did the complete opposite. He's like, oh, what, why, why are you picking me, Lord? I can't speak. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do that. You know. And and he also left off all the 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 riches he had with uh, with Pharaoh. This is um. This is uh First Peter. It's like it's Second Peter one and one. Simon Peter is serving an apostle of Yahweh Shai to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of Yahweh and our Savior Yahweh Shai. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yahweh and of and of Yahweh Shai our Lord, according as His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to your virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you, and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shai. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see far off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. It says, Wherefore I will not be uh, negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though ye know them, and establish in the present truth, man. So Yahweh Shai, hey, hey, the Baruch, the fourth chapter, man, it says, Happy are ye, O Israel, because the things that are pleasing unto Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, are made known unto us, man. The Lord did that out of his out of, out of his good pleasure, man. As it says in Luke, it is his good pleasure to give us the kingdom, man. Not a, not nothing that we did, man. And so the Lord gave us the blueprint, man. This is how you obtain uh, 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 mercy, walking humbly. Because it says what that uh, the Most High giveth grace unto the humble, but He resisteth the proud, man. And that's the battle, staying humble with this knowledge. Because the scripture says what? Knowledge puffeth up. You feel the power, you out there, you can cut this and cut that. Hey, hey that, that pride seeps up, man. Then you get to thinking, I did this and I did that. No, man. You ain't nothing but the goddamn butter knife, man. Right. Right. Huh. The, the one he just quoted, uh, 1 Corinthians 8 and 1, Now it's touching things offered unto idols. We know that we, we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. Uh -huh. But charity edifies, man. You know, having that brotherly love. It, it says they add uh, godliness to brotherly love. Brotherly love to charity, man. All right. And it's all about... Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's it. And giving all praises, honor, and glory to him and ex uh, to them and extolling their names and extolling the doctrine, you know, and 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 bringing um, Israel back to the good graces of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. What do we come in at, um, you know, like we didn't done something or somebody or want some type of praise or any of that. No, we just 
servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, here to you know uh, uh, basically uh, return ourselves, repent and forsake uh, the madness that we were on. All right, first and foremost, then doing the work and giving all praises out and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, maintaining our faith, maintaining our integrity. All right, and it, and nowhere does it fit in with pride and you know uh, 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 wanting some type of corruptible crown and wanting somebody to look at us a certain type of way, you know. Hey, but guess what? If we be patient and do what was told, then the Lord gonna give us that in due time. But not here in hell, not here in our punishment. You know what I'm saying? Not here in, in, in this weak, feeble flesh that I can fall off at any point in time. Lord willing, we do stay the course because it's written that some men will. All right, but those same men that will is, is not about the glory right now. All right, so they're going to be in that perfect balance of, hey, I'm walking this straight and narrow right now. I could be possibly part of that elect. I'm a hopeful elect. But at the same time, I'm fearing Yahweh Shai and trying to do my best to do what's right. Give him all praises, honor, and glory. You know, do my part in waking up the elect and us getting the hell up out of here. And if he decide to give me some, 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 you know, uh, uh, kudos, then, hey, so be it. Cool. But until then, hey man, we just do our job, man, and keep it pushing, and, and do our job that was given to us, all right? Not our job that we didn't came with up on our own, like we somebody and found something and or, or came up with something. No, we didn't. It was all given to. We all received it from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Through the men that he set up. Period. Point blank, man. So where's pride? Where's boasting? You got something? Yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 6, uh, verse 5. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. And this is Isaiah the sixth chapter. Well, what chapter is it? Any like 30 something? Where he says that um, all our righteousness is as filthy rags? I think I just read that too. You know? So it's letting you know, hey, hey, Isaiah, man. I'm a man of unclean lips, man. The angel came and, and, and told him that Yahweh Bachem Yahweh has taken away his iniquity. But yet, in, 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 in the 64th, you said 64, right? In the 64th chapter, he still says <laughs> all of our righteousness is filthy rags, man. Why? Hey, because Paul had to understand it, man. We all... Fall and come short of the glory of Yahweh Shai, man. That's, right. That's what makes Yahweh Shai so important, man. That's what makes this mercy, this grace, is, is so amazing, man. Knowing that, hey, hey, knowing that uh, even the situation we're in, we're getting punished less than what we deserve. This is uh, Luke 14 and uh, 7. And he put forth a parable to those which were bitten when he marked how they chose out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. Uh, and he that bade thee and, and him come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take uh, the lowest room, you know, and that's that goes well, you know, these niggas being prideful, you know, thinking they, they deserve some kind of uh, recognition, 
you know, they're gonna be put to shame because they don't, you know, hey, you don't deserve shit. Um, like you deserve some some type of accolade or something. <laughs> like I was just a regular camp leader. <laughs> what? Wow. It's madness, man. And that's not the mindset of a man of Yahweh about Sham Yahweh Shai, man. That's not the mindset that an elect member would have. An elect member wouldn't even consider, he wouldn't even want to be the cap leader, man. But guess what? He would do it because, hey, just like Moses. Moses said, hey, I didn't want to lead these people. He said, kill me. He would rather die, but yet he did what, hey, he, he did what was bidden of him, man. GMS, you know, every time, you know, they give you the story, hey, I was just doing the work. So I, I, ended, I ended up in this position through the spirit. You know, it wasn't because I wanted it. It wasn't because, oh, you know, I'm going to come in here and be the, the top guy. Right. You know? Hey, check out what Paul said. Uh, this uh 1 Corinthians 15 and, uh, and 9. It says, for I am the least of the apostles that am not meet to be called an apostle. But yet he said that he wasn't a whip behind the chiefest of them. That's right. That's, and, and, and that's, a, a, you know, a balance. But he, this, you know, this is Paul. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He said, for I am the least of the apostles. That am not meet to be called an apostle. Because I persecuted the church of the Most High. But by the grace of the Most High... I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Why? Because he had more, he was forgiven more. Well, it says, yet not I, but the grace of the Most High, which was with me. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, what does it say in Baruch, knowing the end uh Seek him ten times more. Mm -hmm. That's be, right. Be in return, seek him ten times more. Mm -hmm. You know? If, uh, if I finish this. Okay, okay. This is uh, uh, verse 9. And he that bade thee and him, and him come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, uh, uh, Friend, Go up high, then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at me with thee. You know, and that you know that's you know waiting on your house, watching your house. That's it. That's it. You, you you wait on all that, man. You know because you never know. It is you gonna take the chiefs and then you 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 get put down. You know what I'm saying? Man, what the heck? You know what I'm saying? And the same thing, like hey, you and I'm still here, and now I'm not. You know? So where's where's pride, man? Verse 11. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humble himself shall be exalted. That's right. So if you, you, you know, inside you really want to be exalted, then humble yourself. You know, wait. We got to wait. We, we still in under punishment, man. You know? But by the grace of the Most High, He's given us this knowledge, and now we gotta give Him all praises, honor, and glory, and thanks. All right, and tell the people likewise. All right, and those who hear, hear; those who forbear, forbear. Because that number is gonna be sealed up. And I'm talking about you know the uh, the the, the one forty four and the one third, and then. Hey, we out, we out of here. <clears throat> Guess what, bro? Kind of, kind of. This is St. Luke 7, verse 36. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Yahweh Shah said at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment and stood at his feet behind him weeping. And began to wash his feet with tears, and then wiped them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. 
Now when the Pharisee which had bitten him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who or what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. Right? Because he, he, in his head, he, he, he's somebody. Right. He's a Pharisee. He, he, he got some type of righteousness. <laughs> it says, verse 40, And Yahweh shall answering, and said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he said, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. The one ought five hundred pence and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? And guess what? The woman represents the elect of Israel, man. It says, I entered into thy house. Thou gavest me no water for my feet. But she hath washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. She wiped, she washed his feet with tears, man. Yahweh shall say, what? Uh, uh, you do it unto the least of my brethren, you done it unto me. Washing a brother's feet is symbolic of what? Giving him this path, man. Teaching him the right way to walk. Loving thy neighbor as thyself. And it says she dried it with her hairs. What's the glory of a woman? Her hair. So that glory, man, was, was, fuck the glory, man. She made her hair dirty. And that was the glory of a woman. That's the elect, man. We not, we not going to desire that glory on this side, man. Right. Because we know we don't deserve it. God. God. Verse 45. Thou gavest me no kiss. But this woman, since the time I came in, have not ceased to kiss my feet. Psalms, the second chapter says what? Kiss the son, lest he be angry, man. Kissing Yahweh Shai is worshiping Yahweh Shai. Knowing that we need Yahweh Shai. Because without him, man, hey, 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 we're finito, man. All right. We're through without Yahweh Shai, man. Yep. Yep. It is what scriptures also say, pray without ceasing. Yep. Keep these scriptures as like frontlets. Yep. Yep. Verse 46, my head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. And what's the oil? What's the ointment in this word? This knowledge. It says, wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said, and he said unto her, thy sins are forgiven, man. So, yeah. so like, go ahead, bro. No, I was gonna say each one of us know our own uh, 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 sorrows, like Proverbs says. You know, no man can intermeddle with the joy, or no man can intermeddle with our own sorrows. Psalms, the fifty-first chapter, man. I keep my sins ever before me. I don't know everything that this elder brother did, man. He don't know everything that I did. Only, we, only we, only each other know our own sorrows, man. Yeah. So, hey, hey if you know you was forgiven of much, man, how humble should you be? How more should you be pushing and, and, and walking as Yahweh Shai, man? Like Yaki said, having that front in between your eyes, man. Looking at everything through these scriptures. Because if you're doing that, then you're keeping yourself humble. Yeah, because then you're knowing, you know, the, the uh, for one, even before you came in the truth, all the, the, the BS that you then done, all right? Then when you, you come into the truth, you still fall seven times. Yep. Yep. And then you know that you know you know that as well, all right. And then the fact that hey, you could be ignorant of some things, you know. So I mean, it, then where is pride, man? Pride is the turning away of your Maker, man. Pride is the is is when one departed from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh like it says in Sirach. Yeah, I got one. This is a. Uh... Luke 18 and 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous hmm. and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. Hmm. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Where you at? Uh, Luke 18 and started at 9. This is uh, verse 11. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus for himself. Um, Yahweh. I thank thee. I am not as other men are, ex ex extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. 
I fast twice in a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, Yahweh, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell, you th I, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Yep. And that's the example, man. That's the example. Yeah, I shall wash the disciples' feet, man. That gesture even in itself, you know? And he said, I'm going to get it. I got to get it. Um, St. John. This is St. John. So lock your brothers, bear with me. This is St. John 13. And... 12. It says, So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I, if I then your Lord and Master have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Installing your brother better than yourself, man. That's all, that's all it's about, man. You know, humbleness of mind, man. Consider yourself not worthy, man. But yet, Yahweh Shah put you in that race. Well, so run all. Through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Shah, man. So if he called you into this thing, he forgave you of your sins, man. So don't pussyfoot. Do what's required of the servant as he told you, man. Yeah, well, this is Romans 12 and 10. Be kindly affectionate at one to another. With bro brotherly love and honoring, preferring one another. And yeah, honor, preferring one another, man. When you look at the word preferring in Greek, it actually means to show the way, man. So we should be showing each other how to treat each other, man. That's loving your brother, man. Because I'm going to prefer you to show you that I stole you more than me, man. Yahweh Shah preferred us. Cause how? Cause he came and he was that he, and he was that perfect example. So likewise, hey, 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 we should emulate and follow that, man. We have the example right here in the scriptures. Yeah. And if you need a, 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 a real live example, as in a, a man, because the scriptures do say mark the perfect man. Mm -hmm. Hey, well then you should watch the apostles and elders a great millstone, man. Hey, so with that, you know, hope you brothers was edified. Till next time, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the leaders of all Israel. Blessings and salutations to all you brothers who preach the gospel with truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Blessings and salutations to you brothers and to you few sisters that watch. Shalom. Shalom.